Look at this guy. It's okay. I got him on camera now. So if he wants to keep playing his game, go ahead. Go play your game, I got you on camera. I got no problem showing this to the cops. Planet's introduction, you got the solar system and everything like that. So this is like a disc that they put into space with satellite and it's got a bunch of stuff from Earth. So in case we ever were to come across life on other planets, this would be something that they could pick up. Oh my God, what is that? Here I am, I think I find some wild beast to go to kill me in the woods. It's just this toy velociraptor. Yo, what the heck is that? Looks like a little mini replica school locker. What is this thing? What the heck? Oh, right here. Uh, hello? Oh my god. Stay back, dude. Stay. Welcome back, explorers, to this next exciting adventure of Rananautica. Exploring with Brad right back at you. So I believe I've been to this place before, but I'm not I'm not completely 100%. I'm seeing what looks like an abandoned railway kind of thing going on. But anyways, guys, uh, we're going to look ahead and just see, see what this means. It's an all-new point. All-new point for us. Brought my other flashlight just in case that we need to see. What's that? Oh, it just looks like somebody's uh, dessert cup or whatever that is. It's kind of all broken up too. It's a little wild. I've literally used this app in many places now for exploring. It looks like they're doing a lot of uh, fixer-uppers, yeah. So my first point is actually in this area here, guys. Let me know You're if alive. you guys see anything or hear anything in the comments below. Yeah, I don't see anything here. Just a lot of trees cut down and stuff like that. Oh, hold on a sec. What the heck is that? There's something right here. What does this say? Let me just turn this down here. Being happy doesn't mean everything's perfect. It means you decide to see beyond the imperfections. Yeah, that's kind of wild. Whoa, what the hell? You're imperfect to our eyes. Feel free to turn back. And it's got that symbol again. That's the only thing I worry about, guys, is this crazy symbol that we've been seeing quite often. And it's funny, because we've had some of you guys say that that might have something to do with like Zodiac Killer or other killers, which that, that disturbs me. I really hope it doesn't. But um, yeah, I think we're gonna set more intense and just see how it goes tonight. I have a good feeling about tonight. I really don't think much is gonna happen. I'm fully prepared, fully equipped tonight. So yeah, we're just gonna keep going. It's really the only way I can actually continue on. Holy smokes, is it like a tunnel? It's almost like a tunnel of trees. Yeah, I guess we'll follow this little way here. It's a little different. So this next point is actually off to my left. And I really hope I can actually get to it because it looks like kind of like a steep drop down. But we'll see. We shall see. 
There's lots of trees being cut down, what I've noticed. So, gonna have to go from there. Okay. Yeah, so this is our point here. Yeah, you know, I'm not seeing much. Oh, what the hell is this? Ah, I think somebody just threw out a... Threw a planet book down. Freaking school kids. That's one thing that I come across, uh, not often, often, but I've been coming across like these books, like library books and stuff, where it's like, come on kids, just bring your books back. So like this, I, this would be a dud to me. This is 100% a dud, unless I find anything in this book, but I don't really think I'm going to. Um, I've been coming across library books, and I mean, to me, it's kind of cool, because it's like, okay, got something to look at here. We'll take a peek at it anyhow. Oh wow, that is cool. So I kind of like how that looks. We've got all the planets and stuff like that. So we'll just take a peek here. Planets introduction, you got the solar system and everything like that. Not gonna read it, but I'm gonna check it out. There's a land-based uh, telescope used for studying planets. Cool. And I know y'all love space. We've been coming across some space stuff and it's just, we don't know what to think of it. You know what I mean? Even with the Ellis stuff, we really don't know. Oh, this is cool. It's funny, I went to a museum on NASA stuff and we saw a lot of stuff just like this. This is really cool. Okay, so I know what this is. So this is like a disc that they put into space with satellite and it's got a bunch of stuff from Earth. So in case we ever were to come across life on other planets, this would be something that they could pick up and they could find out the English language. Uh, you know, maybe they'll hear uh, music notes, Bach. Uh, like there's a bunch of different stuff on this thing. This thing is super, super cool. And I believe it's called the Voyager. Yeah, the Voyager Golden, Golden Record is 12 inches in diameter and has sounds and images from Earth. So that is super interesting. Wow, we got more planets. You know, if they don't want this this overdue library book, I sure do, because I really like planets. I think this is really cool. It's talking about every single planet here. I'm not gonna read this, I don't have time for that. I definitely wanna keep uh, random nodding and see what else I can find for you guys. But definitely, uh, yeah, I'll show you the cover of this book after if you ever wanna pick it up and learn about planets. It's definitely gonna be in my uh, in my library. Wow, this is super cool. Sometimes books like this are pretty expensive too when it's coming about learning about planets. Especially nowadays with everything. Oh, here we go, we got dwarf planets, Pluto. That's neat. But yeah, nobody truly knows. Nobody, nobody knows exactly if there are life on other planets. We do know this, okay? I can say this. And I'll just talk about it right after I look at this. Look at the moons. Yeah. So there's a planet called uh, Kepler-181. And then there's a few other ones. Now these are called super Earths. So these planets actually have oceans, they have trees, they have moons, and they have suns. Now they have all the fundamental life blocks that you would need in a planet to contain life. Okay? So that being said, that's... Yeah, that's that's what they have. So like, I mean, there's that that's that notion like, okay, well, we got to have life on other planets. You know what I mean? Because we're having all this stuff here. It just doesn't make sense for it not to human beings. I don't know. Like, obviously, I guess you'd call them aliens if they're living, uh, you know, living beings on other planets, uh, all that stuff. But yeah, I think this is really cool. I really don't think this is a point, like I literally think this is a dud. I think this is just like an overdue library book or something. We're gonna set more uh, more of your intents below and just see what else we can find. Really, really cool book. I'm actually gonna snatch that book. But anyways, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Here we go. 
Where she stops, nobody knows. Sorry, I'm just turning in my flashlight. You know what, before I actually check out the point, because it's across the river, I kind of want to just look down here for a sec. There's actually... Since I kind of have been here once before, I kind of want to just see stuff that I haven't seen. Down there. Oh yeah, I don't know if this is a trail or if this just goes to the water or what. Let's have a look. Oh my god, I'm okay. <laughs> I had a little fall. No, it sucked. At least I landed on my butt though, and it was grass. Yeah, look at that, guys. Isn't that insane? Wow, that's cool. Oh my god, what is that? Oh my god, it's just a freaking dinosaur toy. Look at this thing. Holy crap, that's cool though. So we just found this little velociraptor. Now that is cool. Sorry, I'm just putting my flashlight away, but we're gonna have a peek at this thing. <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe it. Here I am, I think I find some wild beast about to kill me in the woods. It's just this toy velociraptor. Look at that. That's kind of cool. So it looks like it kind of moves its head. Does it move its teeth though? Oh yeah. So he kind of moves his, moves his mouth and stuff like that. I bet it's electric. He kind of feels like he's got some hap to him. So here we go. Here's the dinosaur at work. He lifts his head and he tilts and I, I guess he opens his mouth. He might talk a little bit. But yeah, he's like a little baby velociraptor. That is cool, man. I don't know. I think I might snatch that up too. Like some things I find I do keep. And like, I think like, I don't know. When I was a little kid, I loved dinosaurs, okay? And it's funny, all of us were like, oh, I want to be like a paleontologist and all this jazz. I kind of friggin, I do kind of want to bring that home. I mean, if she gets into dinosaurs, little Rebecca, there's this little walking, talking dinosaur possibly. That's kind of cool. All right, guys, so we're gonna go back into the abyss and see what, it's actually not that cool out. It's actually okay of a day. Um, I got my little flashlight here just so you guys can see more. This one is across this, uh, what's like an abandoned uh, railroad. So I'm gonna check it out. Lots of long, gooey, gross grass here, so be careful. It looks like a lot of kids party here. So it kind of explains like the book that we just found. It almost looks like a chill spot for people. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna have to be very, very careful walking. Very careful walking across this thing. And I got my flashlight out just in case we see any unwanted sorts. If you guys see anything, please uh, don't hesitate to comment in the comment section below. Sorry, I'm trying not to look down. I actually do have a fear of heights. Although I do all this crazy stuff, I am scared of heights. And I don't know if you could see, but it is, it is a drop down. It is a serious drop down. <laughs> but yeah, it does look like a place that kids uh, party. So, all right, so we almost made it across. Oh, thank God. Okay, so we're on the other side now. It's kind of cool. Look 
Look at all the overgrowth here. So my point's down on the right hand side. I have to be very, very careful I don't fall. Whoa. Something just splashed and it was loud in the water. Hoping that this is still part of the trail because I know there's houses above. I don't know what that sound was though. It sounded kind of big. Yeah, I don't see anything. Hello? point now. That was a scream. That is scary. I just really hope whoever that is that they're okay. What is up here anyhow? Okay, this goes close to the water too. There's some big old tree here. More trees. Sorry, my point's back here. I just kind of want to see what this is. Oh wow, it does keep going. That's wild. Oh boy. Yeah, so this is my radius here. Sorry, I just wanted to look up ahead just in case there was anything. Yo. Is that? Whoa! Okay, that's just a tree branch. Sorry, I'm psyching myself out right now. I'm just a little bit of freaked out. What is this? It says the name of star. What is this even? Jack the Ripper is back and he's coming for Rory next. Oh, interesting. Louisiana teenager Rory DeVoe arrives in London to start a new life at boarding school. Just as a series of brutal murders mimicking the horrific Jack the Ripper killing spree of more than a century ago has broken out across the city, the police are left with a few leads and no witnesses, except one. Rory spotted the man believed to be the prime suspect, but she is the only one who saw him. The only one who can see him and now Rory has become his next target, unless she can tap her previously unknown abilities to turn the tables. Oh, that's kind of cool. So here we got like a murder mystery style book right here. I don't know if there's anything. Try to see if there's anything important in here. Any more clues to what's been going on with us right now. I always miss the first few pages so I don't want to miss anything that might be important. Oh, yo, what is this? Oh, yo, there's something written in here. Follow the body trail into the river. You go. That is disturbing. And if you see this, there is where we are right now. There's a there's basically a bridge. That's, that's what this... Uh, train train bridges but look there's the bodies there there's the river yeah that's kind of disturbing whoa take notes vincent you might learn something okay that's a little disturbing yeah i don't know i haven't found much i've been finding little bits and pieces I don't really know what all this means. And like I said, we, me and Angelo have always thought like there are people that are either messing with us or there is some sort of real realness to all of this. And these symbols that we've been coming across do disturb us because I mean, then we end up finding um, people that try to kill us and the whole bit. Um, I think I'm gonna head back though. I'm just a little bit nervous of finding stuff like that here. So, we'll head back. Hello? Okay, for 
first I heard a scream. Now I'm thinking I'm going to hear something. What is that sound? I think it was just an animal, but I can't be sure. Hello? Oh, they're beavers! Okay, so we found a... We found a couple beavers here. And they're just chilling out. I don't know if you can see them, they're just chilling out. There's a there's two beavers there. Oh boy. I just have to like keep my wits about because I don't really know like how much, you know, like if I'm in any danger. I thought it was a person. That really scared me. We've had uh crazy stalkers come out of nowhere. So we really don't know what to expect. Oh, hello, I don't know anyone was here. <laughs> yeah, this place is cool. It is cool. Yeah. You got your camera on? Yeah, yeah, sorry about that's that. Cool. I'm a YouTuber, I just explore. That's good, that's good. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah, cool down here. Taking the dog out for a yes, stroll too? Yeah. Awesome. I didn't know about this place and my friend's like, you gotta check it out. It's cool. Yeah, yeah, it's neat. Does it just keep going? goes all the way to a, there's a road then there's a really nice park and everything and then oh. over here there's an old bridge i don't know if you've been there yet oh cool and the river yeah, careful on the bridge yeah the, yeah my yeah. I'm, I'm afraid of heights i'm like just yeah. keep oh, looking yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Keep away, like not too much further like if you're afraid of heights woo. yeah oh yeah, okay. that's pretty cool yeah. awesome yeah. sweet okay. i'll have to check out the next the, the right. next part of it have see a good you. one eh well that's cool so we ran into some people see that makes me feel a little bit better doing explorers uh running into people I feel a little safer. You know what though? I've never actually gone down here. I wonder if that goes right under the bridge. I'm gonna go check this out. Okay, wish me luck. I'm gonna check underneath this bridge and see if I find anything. But I'm gonna be extra careful. I have my flashlight in my pocket. I just don't wanna drop anything. Holy mackerel. Here we go, guys. All right, here we go. I'm gonna have to be very careful. This is steep. You know what? I wonder if I can just grab onto these and use them to steer myself down. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, wow. We're right underneath. Yeah, we're right underneath the uh, train tunnel, the train bridge, I mean, right now. That is... Hello? Again, I heard a woman, like, back this way. It didn't sound like she was screaming this time. It sounded like somebody that was crying or something like that. I don't know what's going on here though, that's the thing. And it seems to be, I'm always by myself. People leave and then they miss this. They miss what's going on. Sorry, camera's just adjusting again. Let's see if I can get down here. Yo, what the heck? Okay, there's something right here. I was actually just about to uh, climb down this thing just to check it out. What is this? No, what the hell? Okay, you know what? If I go down here, I might be a little bit safer. That way nobody can run up behind me or something like that if in case anything crazy happens again. I'm always on my guard now. I'm gonna climb down here and have a peek at what this is. So I found this like little dog. Nice. Sorry guys. Oh boy. Lots of graffiti and everything like that. That's cool, man. <sighs> All right, guys. So we'll see what this is. So we just found this dog and it looks like there's some sort of carrier and he looks like a male dog. I don't know if you guys noticed this. Okay, hold on a second. It looks like a little male dog. Like, see, he's got his little backpack, and then I guess there's mail, and he's, like, delivering it or something like that. But what's funny about this, it kind of reminds me of uh, Wishbone. 
You see that? I know, I don't think it's the same dog, but it does, it does kind of remind me of like a wishbone dog. What is this? So pull this out now. Okay, so we did find some sort of note here, guys. So we found this note. It looks like it's got some weird uh, signature at the bottom. I don't know if you guys can see that. So there's some sort of weird signature. So anyways, we found this note. And this says, to whomever finds this. And it says, both me and my brother ran away when we were young. Your world, th it said throw, it doesn't say, it doesn't say through, it should say through. Threw us out as if we were garbage. All we had was each other. Mom and dad were evil. The abuse we both endured followed by the trauma afterward. We did what we did to survive. We didn't mean for this to happen. Oh, that's kind of creepy. Mom was the easiest. Dad came home and found her lying face down on the sofa in a pool of blood. In an angered rage, he circled the house, searching for us. We left his vehicle running in the, in the garage, idling. That was when I made my move with a kitchen knife. Yeah, this is disturbing. This is like a confession to murder. I still wear that same Halloween mask Uncle Ted bought me two years ago. Should have seen the look on their faces when we ended them priceless. Yeah, that is... That's some messed up stuff. Angelo has told me that he's found stuff, like, really, really disturbing before. I don't know. I've never found anything direct like that. Oh, wait. It says something on the back right here. So there's something else here. P.S. Don't bother... Come looking for us. We're already dead. Yeah, that is... I just think that we need to get the hell out of here. So I'm going to keep the camera rolling. That's a little disturbing. I really hope that there's more dog walkers and people coming through. Yeah, we need to get the heck out of here. That is weird. I got to figure out how to climb this thing. Holy smokes. And there's like ghostly figures going on here. This is just wild. Okay. Most of all, I don't want to lose my flashlight. I'm going to need both hands to climb this thing, though. You want to be an explorer, you got to learn how to climb. That's a big thing. Very, very big thing. And you and you definitely, like, you want to wear proper footwear. I never do this. I never wear proper footwear. I'm the, I'm the biggest idiot. Don't be like Brad. All right, get yourself some good footwear with good tread. We're going to have to climb this thing using this. That seems to be how everybody's getting that. Up and down, I guess. Holy smokes. Okay, come on, Brad, come on. See, that's what I mean by proper footwear. <sighs> okay, we're going back up. I still have the flashlight, good stuff. <sighs> oh. All right, we're going back. Yeah, I do recognize this. I did see uh, a stalker here, and it was a while ago using Rando. And he tried to jump me a few times. So I'm really happy that, uh, I'm really happy nothing has happened yet. But now that I'm finding like disturbing things, I kind of want to get the hell out of here. Because that is creepy. I'm wondering if I should take that note as evidence. I didn't even grab it. Yeah. 
sorry guys I have to grab that I have to bring that to the cops like that is disturbing unless I put it in my pocket I don't really know did I oh I did I have it I have it we have the notes that's something you don't get rid of stuff like that that's pretty disturbing Oh boy, be safe, be safe. Okay, let's check it out. Yeah, I'm not seeing anybody else. I remember seeing a guy hanging out down there. Okay, so we're good. We're gonna keep walking straight. Okay, don't look down. Don't look down, Brad. Sorry, I'm afraid of heights. I, I do climb a lot, but I am still afraid of them. My method is don't look down. <laughs> don't look down if you're scared. The worst part is this is an old, old train uh, bridge. This one, some of the, uh, some of these uh, boards, they're not, they're not in proper spacing, so you can easily put your foot right through. Okay. All right, guys. I'm gonna keep I'm gonna vlog my safe travel back to the car keep you guys in the loop just because we want to be as safe as can be all right okay I think I'm gonna head this way it's funny I came in that way I actually walked straight all the way through here but I don't know I think this might lead to the car this is where we found that space book yeah, I'm gonna try this spot and just see if it leads back to the car. Just so you guys know that we got back safe. All right, so here we go. Yeah, I do think we found some interesting stuff. I do keep my guard up with this whole serial killer nonsense. That really scares me. I don't like that at all. We have found quite a few different things to do with cults and murders, uh, Angelo and I, and we always say, you know, we, it's almost like we've become part of, part of the story, like whether, you know, whether the information we turn in helps the police or not, we don't really know. Okay, so that just goes down here. Yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm hearing the car, I'm hearing cars though. Since we found the murder stuff, uh, yeah, we will keep vlogging to get back. That goes this way. Where does this go? I can't tell if that's somebody's property or not. I'm going to keep walking straight. Yeah, always good to, uh, if you do find stuff that's deeply disturbing and you, or anything like that, you want... You want your viewers to know you're safe. I'm gonna show you guys just me walking out of here. Always best to do that. It's funny, so this is all deja vu to me. Uh, this is where I found a stalker actually knelt down and he attacked me right in this area here. And I don't know if this was his or not. Yo, there's like clothing here. What is this? Yikes. I don't really know if I want to touch that. There's a bag of clothing here, though. Look at that. I don't really want to go into that. There's a bag of clothing. Yeah, like, what's creepy is that the note said, you know, the note was talking about two runaways that, um two runaways that ran away from home and they were living in the woods and here I found a bag of clothing not far from this area if this is where they're living and look it's like they're buying this is actually classic classic you know person living you know like homeless or living out the woods right like you got your you know your food food bag so this would have been all their garbage and stuff from the food they've been eating and then they stash a bag of clothing here. I don't even want to touch this because like I've heard of scary things of 
fentanyl and things like that being on stuff. I don't know. See, a lot of people say that if you touch fentanyl, it can kill you. I don't think if, it, if you touch it, it can kill you. I think you actually have to ingest it. But I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong. You guys might be more, uh, you guys might know more of that. But I just knew, know that if this is somebody's clothing and they are living out here, they might be coming back for it. So let's just keep heading out. Okay. Yeah, we're heading out. Welcome back, guys, to this next exciting adventure of Randonautica. So I found this totally new forest. I'm actually really hyped about it. Drop your intents below, as always. But yeah, I'm trying to stick to daytime exploring. We have had some incidents of run-ins run with people and stuff like that. It's all I can really do. I haven't been able to get in contact with Brett. I know a lot of people want me to explore with him and do different things. Unfortunately, he's been really, really busy. Sorry, I'm a little bit out of breath. <laughs> I had to walk up this trail here just to get here, so. But anyways, we set your new intent below. So yeah, let's get this party started. This place is dense, wide open though, I might add. So I do like that. Wide open trails with scenery and the sky, everything like that, that's really cool. I did have a little bit of sunlight, thankfully, because last night we had a really bad storm. Really bad, it was ice rain, high winds, and the whole shebang. So I'm kind of uh, anxious to see what we even find on this trail in terms of damage, because we always have uh, weather damage on these trails, quite often, in fact, so. Oh yes, there's some blue peeking through, so that's okay. Looks to me like there's like a tree or something that fell down on this trail. I love forests. I really want to show you guys as much as I can with this app. I'm hoping that come summer because obviously now a lot of places are closed. This thing has led me to some historic sites and I would love to show you them, but they have to be open. So if they're not open to the public, I can't be sneaking in. So that's just something we don't do. However, since I made a little map, and if it leads me to those places or if it doesn't, that's just the way it is. But I mean, in the summer and spring, we'll see what we can get. You know, lots of cool looking trees and stuff like that. You can see the fall leaves in full force. It's not quite winter, winter yet. We haven't had uh, snow, we've had a lot of rain. Hoping it doesn't rain today, but I did put the hood up. So with the hood up, that covers me for that. Look at these trees come down. There's a tree that came right down the trail. These look like they have just, those look like they've been cut. That's definitely a saw, but that one looks like it actually came down. So we'll have a look at that. Ooh. Kind of anxious to see where uh, this one leads. So all the trails on this one are like that. They're kind of like these big paved long stretch. So this is the Trans Canada Trail. This thing goes all over Canada. It's actually one of the largest trails. Well, it is the largest trail in Canada. It goes all across Canada. So you can walk for miles and miles and miles. So I thought, well, this is pretty cool. We'll set up a Randonautica point, Randonautica coordinates here because this place is massive. You know, we're away from the city eye the whole bit. So that's that's kind of what I wanted. I wanted a place where we could set big weight, big radiuses and come across. But yeah, look, this tree just came down. Yo, what the heck is that? There's something here. What is this, a garden gnome? What, someone just put like a little garden gnome here. Well, that's kind of cool. I remember my grandmother, she always bought these for her garden all the time. Yeah, there's nothing, nothing in there. 
Just a little garden gnome somebody set up. That's kind of cool. It's really funny too, because these guys kind of look like, uh, you know, the Snow White Seven Dwarves. They do kind of look like the dwarves, which is interesting. But anyways, that's not our point. Our point's actually up ahead. That's cool nevertheless. Glad that we found that. Okay. Keep on trekking. Let's see what we can find. So my point's off to the left hand side. So I want you guys to keep looking to see if you guys see anything. And if you guys see anything, I want you to let me know because I've heard a few things, that I've, I've read a few things in the comments that we walked right past. So I do like that. I like that you guys spot things and then we can look over our footage and be like, oh wow, we caught something really interesting and neat on film. Yeah, I see these spools of wire. I've been seeing these commonly on trails. Really wild. There's another one there. Check that thing out. So I've seen these in a lot of forests and I think it's just uh, stuff they're throwing away. Yeah, it's just a spool of uh, old wire and I think they, they use, I think it's for the fences because it looks like they put brand new fencing up. That's kind of cool. But yeah, you guys don't have to worry about me leaving Randonautica. I have to take extra precautions and that's, that's just that. I have to be more careful. I do try my best to find people to come with me no matter what. But at the end of the day, this is the only job I have and winter is approaching. And I need to do this, to take care of my, my little baby. She's doing really good. Um, she was she's very small So she came out. She's five pound five ounces very small We're a little worried about her at first, but she's been eating really well and All of her health and test results everything everything seems fine So with that being said Yeah, she's good. Rebecca is good. I'm good. I'm back at it. I'm getting more energy back My stamina is slowly coming back. I've been eating. I've been doing what the doctor said Lots of fiber, lots of protein. So, yeah, things have been good with me. Yeah, we have the blue poking through. I hope we can see some sun later. It would be nice to see some sun before the, uh, before the uh, sun sets, goes down. Yeah, there's some rocks down there. I don't know what's over there. I just want to keep searching on my point. That does look like a new cool place to hike, though. place is just beautiful though like look at that peak that is cool I'll have to take some photos of this afterwards it's it actually looks really 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 nice yeah it's wide in I've noticed there's a lot of farmland coming up so that was one big thing that I saw as well lots and lots of farmland more spools of wire. There's another one there. I won't check it out. It's just a spool. But it looks like they've been cutting down trees and things like that past here. Oh, look at these old trees. Sometimes I try to look for things that aren't even on the point because of how many times that we found things like that. Yeah, look, you can see the farmer's field out there. A little bit. I'll just zoom in for you. It's actually as far as this zoom goes. I want to try some other lenses for this camera one day and see what we get, but you know, it is what it is. So the point says that it's actually off over here somewhere. Okay, so I'll check this out. Rocks over here. Let me see. You have arrived. Yeah, just some rocks, things like that. Look at this beautiful field in the background here. It actually looks really, really pretty. I like that. Looks nice. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything up here, guys. 
you know, walk up the trail a bit. See if there's anything else. Oh, yo. I think I see something there. Yeah, like, what the heck is that? You can kind of see something in the tree over here. Okay. Oh, wow, what is that? Yo, I gotta get that down. Oh, wow, that's so cool. So this says, an Irish blessing. May the road rise to meet you always at your back. May the sun shine warm upon your face. May the rains fall soft upon your fields. And until we meet again, may God hold you in the palm of his hand. Wow, that's neat. I guess somebody just hung this here for like, you know, people coming to the trail or whatever. That is so cool. Let's see. I'll put that right back there anyway. Might find a better place because it looks like that's just about to fall. But yeah, guys, I think what we'll do is we'll set our next point and then I'll check you back in a bit, eh? Okay. All right. Okay, so we're on to our next point now. Some more people are hiking, so it's kind of cool. Big fields, big, big fields. Oh, wow, looks so nice. Kind of chick peek up here as this person's walking around. Just don't want to stick the camera in their face, so kind of take a peek. But yeah, I'll have a little look at this uh, farm field here. Look at that. <laughs> that looks kind of cool. All right. Uh, there we go. Cool. Yeah, I haven't seen anything yet, guys. Keep our eyes out. Hello. Yeah, so everybody's doing out some fall hiking before the uh, the winter weather kicks in. So that's nice. It's good to know that there's other people on the trail as usual. That's the big thing I always look for. If there's people here, that way I know I'm safe. Much safer with uh, other pedestrians using the using the trails and everything like that makes me feel safer so I almost start to think that there's another entrance way way back all right what else can we find my people Oh wow, okay, so we're coming up to an opening here. A little bit of an opening. So this point's actually on my right. And it does look like it's off trail. Looks like there's this bit of a field here. Hope it's not in the field. I really don't like checking out places like that. 
due to all the uh, all the crazy bugs we have here with ticks and things like that. Oh wow, look at that. Yeah, it's like they've cleared all this out. I don't know, maybe it's a farmer field. Look at that though. That's beautiful. So we got this whole farmer field checking out. I know some people, they're not into, uh, you know, like, I don't know, probably things that I'm into, like farmer fields and just beautiful sun sky, stuff like that. I like that. When I'm driving and stuff, I like peaceful scenery that probably a lot of y'all like and enjoy, so. But I know that there's those that are like, oh, wow, that's just a field or that's just this, but you know, it's nostalgic. It looks, it looks neat to me. It's interesting. Well, that's kind of cool too. The trees are all buckled there. Oh, there's a sign. But yeah, the things that I've come across using this app, it always, uh, always astounds us. Even Angelo. I know Angelo, um, he has talked to me quite often about quitting because of the dangers and things like that. But, you know, it is what it is. You can't blame them. I don't know what this is here. trees everywhere. Oh yeah, it's just this tree here. I know we're coming up to my point. This isn't it. I just kind of wanted to have a look-see because sometimes, sometimes we'll be right on, right on point of the coordinate and we literally don't find anything. So I'm just kind of seeing if this is one directly left. Because, I mean, like, we've had some weird, weird encounters before where we've had to really investigate. No, this is it here. This is my point. You know, look, it's almost like it's a path going up. And it's dead silent. Alright, well it says it's up there. It says it's up there. I'm gonna watch my back. At this point. Okay. Look at that creepy tree. Is there anything over here, here first? Right. Check over here. Okay, so there's nothing here. It's literally this whole mass. Oh, yo, what the heck is that? There's something right here. Oh, let's go. Whoa. Wow, that really hurt. Kind of fell on top of myself there. So we just found this now. Oh, hold on a second. There's like a tape. If this is what I think it is, that royally sucks because I don't have that player anymore. That these were being left for me with all that starseed stuff. Hold on a sec, I'm gonna see if I can free it off though. Maybe I can find somebody that can actually play this, guys. Okay. It says Omega, it doesn't say anything else on it. So this was attached to that, right there. 
which is too bad because yeah I don't have anything to play with play this guy so <sighs> hopefully we can find somebody because these players actually they're worth a lot of money online I looked it up when I found one because it's old tech right but old tech is actually selling for more money these days they're like five six hundred dollars but maybe I could find a friend that still has one or has like an old uh, you know answering machine like the old ones used to some of them use these so we can do that but nevertheless this is really cool the statue that we found I just hope that this isn't left by these stalkers that we have been coming across so yeah we just found that now looks kind of creepy but it's actually just two cats see the legs <sighs> all right okay I think we'll set a few more points but after that we're gonna have to head back I don't know what's on this tape but we'll, we'll figure it out some way or another I kind of laughed so like a few videos ago and I've noticed on like I think there was a couple recent videos there was one person commenting on like the whole sniffling bit dude it's fall <laughs> winter like you know what I mean so with all that being said like this is what happens like when cold weather people have runny noses and stuff like it's a complete natural thing every human being has this whether they show it or not all the time, like with me, it just happens more frequently. Okay. See, there's this bench here. I kind of want to check it out. Okay, so I'm going to put this tape in my jacket. We definitely don't want to lose that tape. I want to keep that with me in case there's some sort of message on there or something that I need to know. I haven't come across anybody else. I've seen that hiker. She was friendly. She was just walking by. I kind of thought that I'd see a dog walker, but I guess not. All right. Yeah, I kind of want to check this bench out though. Just this bench kind of in the middle of nowhere. Like, do you see how big this area is? I mean, that's crazy. No, oh, there's just a bench just chilling here out in the middle of nowhere. It's crazy. Yo, what the heck? What the heck is that? Okay, there's something underneath the bench. I kind of spotted it out of my eye. Shiny metallic thing. So I found this little rocking horse thing. It looks like there's some sort of note inside. Oh, it actually ripped. I hope I can get it out of there. Okay, what is this? Holy mackerel, what is this? That's a big note. All right, we'll see what this is, guys. I'm gonna see if I can prop the camera in a way that we can read it. We found another note by the looks of things. So what is this? Yeah, it is. It's in printing and at the bottom, it looks like it's been signed. So this note says, it should have been me. I should have been famous. I should have got the career, the house, the car. Instead, I was shafted. Told I wasn't good enough to make it in the biz. I'll show them. I'll show all of them. I'll take those who they love and cherish the most and destroy them right in front of their eyes. After all, this whole damn world is a circus after all. They all treated me like I was some sort of clown. Well, if they want a clown, they got one. I'm through playing Mr. Nice Guy. And then there's some really weird signature. I can't even read it. 
But this is the note we just uncovered underneath this bench. That is creepy as heck. Throw this thing. I don't know if there's anything else in it. I'm gonna keep this though in case this is this person that we've come across. <sighs> All right, so we found this here. I made of zinc alloy. Well, that's new. Yeah, there's nothing in it, but as you guys can see, it used to be like a piggy bank at some point. But yeah, I'm gonna keep that there. I might take that with me too. It actually looks interesting. And yeah, there's this here too. There's nothing there. Which is funny though, because my point is actually up that way. So, we're gonna keep trekking onward. We're gonna have to be very careful just in case we see anybody, but yeah, I don't know guys. This place is interesting. Sorry about that guys, had to do a camera stop for a bit. There was a family and a group of kids and stuff. So that's a big thing with YouTubers. We cannot at all film kids. So I'm sorry I had to make this little tiny, tiny cut. I'm still at the bench. We're still walking forward as you can see. Um, yeah, it was weird. So that hiker lady, she walked all the way down there, all the way to the end, but now she's going up. I don't think it's suspicious at all. I mean, there are people that walk this thing and um you know like from what i've heard is that like this thing just keeps going and going and going i don't know how she came from here though and come out so there must be other side trails that kind of stem into this one i've never explored this whole thing i mean it's the biggest trail in canada trans canada trail like it's 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 massive so yeah but anyways guys we're gonna keep moving forward and just see what we find at the point. I know a lot of people would like to see me uh, film more often with uh, Angelo. Um, Angelo does most of the filming, I think, in the States and stuff like that. So when he's local and he's back at his parents' house and everything like that, that's when usually me and him hit, to, like, we, we get together and we get filming. Yeah, look at this. It's a birdhouse. So this actually isn't my point. My point is on the right-hand side, though. So we'll keep a look. And I've seen a lot of apples lately, too. Oh, yeah. So a little birdhouse. Yeah, it's just a regular birdhouse. I'm guessing the people that uh, maintain this trail do. So that's not too bad. But yeah, I kind of, I was kind of hoping one of my friends could come out with me today and do some filming, but you know, it is what it is. Not all the time do we have, uh, have the time, work-wise and everything, so we gotta make do with what we can. Okay, so this seems really weird, but my point, so I don't know if you guys can see this, it almost looks like there's like a spill of like leaves and just crap just laying everywhere. And then there's this tree kind of arched, kind of like it's not blocking the path obviously, but it's coming across it. So that's my point. So I'll see what this is. I don't. That is odd. This trail is getting. It's getting different, I'm gonna tell you that right now. I'm not used to uh, doing daytime filming. A lot of the filming I do is at night. And it's the most dangerous. I haven't come across anyone else. I'm glad that hiker lady was here. Hopefully more people come. And it's not so bad. But yeah, this is the point right here. You might hear my phone go off in a second. You have arrived. Yeah, like, I don't know. Yo! What the heck is that? I don't know what that thing is. Okay, I'm gonna go check this out in a sec. Alright, here we go. All right, so it almost looks like a locker to me. 
It's got a number on it and everything. It's not like a post office. This is like a, it looks like a little mini replica school locker. What is this thing? Let's see if we can... What the heck? Yo. Okay, that's messed up. I just opened this thing up and literally all these marbles fell out of it. And there's like colored dice. What is this though? Yo, it's that symbol again. What is this? It says more will die. Oh my god. I don't like the looks of this, guys. Yeah, I don't like the looks of this. I'm gonna have to take this as evidence though, like that can't stay here. That is creepy. I really don't like clowns. Like that's with me. I hate them, I can't stand clowns. And the last episode we literally found things to do with clowns. So I just really hope that this isn't a stranger danger moment for me. Like that is messed up. And that lady's gone too. Yeah, I think we're gonna head back guys. That's a little too much for, for my liking. It's best to be safe than sorry. Oh wow, is that gnats? Can't tell if those are knots or mosquitoes. You really have to trust your instincts. That's the thing. Like, if you feel like you could be in danger, you gotta head back. And, like, literally look both ways. Because you don't know. Like, you have no idea who's out here. Canada's been run, like, lately, like, the devil's playground. We have crazy delinquents running around causing mischief and you don't really want that hold on do you guys hear that what the heck is that yeah like I don't like the sounds of this at all there's something going on here This says kids help phone hat. Huh? Okay. Uh, hello? What's going on in here? Uh, hello? Oh my god. Oh my god. Holy <sighs> Yo, yo, stick to- Oh my god, what the freak is going- Yo, stay back, man. Holy I just saw a clown there. Yo, what are you doing, man? Go back there. Stay back there, bro. Stay back, dude. Stay. Holy sh. Oh, oh sh. Stay back there. Fuck. Oh my god! Oh my god! Holy <laughs> Stay back, man! Stay the f back! Stay away from me, bro! Stay the f away from me! Yeah! Yeah, I'm packing! Cause of you, you sick! Stay away from me, dude. Stay away. Stay away from me, man. Stay the f away from me. Stay away. Oh, this guy means business. Holy. Help. Oh, my God. Oh, holy. Stay, stay away from me, man. Psychopath. Psycho.
That's right, man. Go back to where you came from. Oh. Yeah, you just stay there. Stay at your end, man. Oh. I hate clowns. I've one eye over my back. Just in case he follows me. What is he doing? I'm not gonna ask again, man. Look at this guy. It's okay. I got him on camera now. So if he wants to keep playing his game, go ahead. Go play your game, I got you on camera. I got no problem showing this to the cops. It's okay, I'm gonna vlog everything. Prick. And they keep coming. He's walking back. That was much, man. Okay, I'm gonna vlog everything. We'll vlog everything. I think he's turned around. So it looks like he's going back. Looks like he's going back to the other trail. <sighs> back at this opening here. Got a lot of places I can hide. That's for sure if he does turn around. Yeah, he's not. That was way too much. I can't believe this, man. So another setup again from this dude. So last episode we found this stuff and it led to uh, his name. Sorry, I had to wipe my nose. It's actually cool out, so it's doing it again. Yeah. So last episode we found this stuff to do with uh, Mr. Marbles. And I think that this is this person. And it's funny, with all the stuff that I found with Angelo, I'm like, I really want to nab this guy. Like, I really want to turn this stuff in and see if this is actual crimes or if this person is really just trying to get the best of me. I don't know. But the fact of the matter is, you can't trust anyone. Trust your gut, trust your instincts. Seems like this guy's backing off now. Because, I mean, I pulled the knife, and, uh, he's still walking down the trail. I don't know if he's coming my way or not. I don't know if you guys can see him. I'm pretty sure, yeah, I think he's walking back. That's all right. I got it all in film. It's going right to the cops. So if he wants to play with me, that's fine. He can play with me.